What's going on, Chosen Elect? How y'all doing? This morning, evening, or afternoon, whichever time you viewing this video. Glad y'all could join me. Y'all know the routine. Get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. But if you're fasting, that's even better. Let's get them seat belts fast. Oh, it's on today. We talking about being a revolutionary. Or reprobate. Revolutionary or reprobate, man. Which one are you? Because, uh, let's go to 2 Timothy. Because, uh, we got to get back to our God consciousness, our God frequency. And, uh, but if you're fighting against the scriptures, you reprobate. Man, it's a lot of Hebrew Israelites, uh, camps, uh, and groups out there you know but uh they not all in the truth i don't see any of them in the truth it's like they fighting against the scriptures that makes you reprobate second timothy three and uh i think we're gonna start with verse seven. Second timothy three verse seven let's go ahead and do it it says they are ever learning Never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. See, they have a form of godliness, man. That's like the Christians. They have a form of godliness. Because they don't come into perfection. Y'all who are not coming into perfection, if the, if the so-called truth that you're getting does it not make you free from sin, then uh, you ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Know ye not that Jesus Christ came to deliver us from sin, to save his people from their sins? Matthew 1, 21. Huh? So, uh, you're not going to be no revolutionary if you're not in the truth. You're going to be a reprobate. You're going to wander around here in darkness, ever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. And you're going to piss against the wall. Of Jerusalem, you're gonna be fighting your own salvation. That's what I see these camps doing. And the mighty great lion be bringing the videos. Shout out, mighty great lion! Beautiful videos you're bringing out, showing that these camps are reprobate, man. Reprobate, fighting against their own salvation. That's like the uh, so-called heathens who claim to be constitutional citizens, always fighting for the Second Amendment. You can't just have one amendment and then fight against all the rest of the Constitution. That's reprobate. That's reprobate. Showing that they are not constitutional citizens at all. If you're not one for all and all for one, that's what the scriptures is about likewise. All for one, Jesus Christ, and one for all. Huh? For he's a jolly good fellow, Jesus Christ. Uh, the name above every name, it is written. If you're fighting against Jesus Christ, you are Psalm 62, verse 4. That's what you are. Let's get it. Psalm 62, verse 4. We got time. Let's scroll on over there and get it. Show the people what they are who fighting against their own salvation. Fighting against the truth. Psalm 62, 4. Okay. It says, they only consult... To cast him down from his excellency, they delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly in their heart. You know? See, La. See, that's what they do. They only consult to cast Jesus Christ down from his excellency. His excellency is that his name is above every name. Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11. Jesus Christ is the name we got to bow down to. And if you fighting against the name Jesus Christ, you forever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. And you only consult like the Antichrist. This is Antichrist spirit. Cast him down from his own excellency. They delight in lies. That's you. You must be Satan's son, Satan's daughter. You delight in lies. Satan, your daddy, is the father of lies. You not no revolutionary for this truth. You not no martyr for this truth. Right? You a liar. 
Huh? They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Huh? Let's get back over there to second uh what was that? Second Timothy? Second Timothy three. There's some more meat in there. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Second Timothy three and verse seven. Let's go get that meat. <clears throat> it says, ever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Because y'all cast him down from his own excellence. The name that's written. That makes you reprobate. Verse 8, check this out. Now, as Janes and Drambrees withstood Moses. Uh, they must have been Israelites in Pharaoh's camp. You know how uh, Esau recruits the so-called patriotic uh, Negroes um, even though they uh, historically may be from the tribes of Israel but now they in the uh, uniform or the Babylonian uniforms of our enemies because the Bible says you should be sold to your enemies Deuteronomy 28 68 we should come here by slave ships and we should be sold to our enemies so Janes and Jambres, uh, according to this, were Israelites, but they were in Pharaoh's camp. They were in Pharaoh's camp, all right? And uh, Janes and Jambres withstood Moses, okay? So they were reprobate against, uh, fighting against their own deliverance. Moses came to deliver the Israelites, just like you got police today, modern day, who uh, who were recruited by uh, Pharaoh or the Edomites or the bankers, what they call it, the private bankers or whatever, the, the, the uh, elites. Okay, that's who they work for, the elites. Okay, and they train you up and indoctrinate you, give you a paycheck, you know, whether you are an attorney or a judge. Y'all get this? You can sit in a, a, one of their top seats. As long as you're indoctrinated, and they, you know, <laughs> they'll they'll pay you. You know, Hollywood, look at them. In sports, politics, so they'll pay you. And um, Jennies and Jambres are fighting against Moses. They withstood Moses. So do these also resist the truth, fighting against their own salvation. Men of corrupt minds reprobate, look, concerning the faith. That's like these Hebrew Israelite camps. Just like modern day Christianity. Uh, ever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. <clears throat> Fighting against the faith of Jesus Christ. Reprobate. Denying the works of the Lord. Let me, let's get that in Titus. Right next door, Titus 1, 15. I know y'all picked that up in the spirit that I was going to go there. It says, unto the pure, all things are pure. Look, that's when you revolutionary. That's when you revolutionary like your Lord, your King, Jesus the Christ. But to them that are defiled and unbelieving, like Jannies and Jambres, right? Uh, defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. So they can't never come into the knowledge of the truth like that. In that state, in that state right there, defiled and unbelieving, you can't come into the truth. Except you bow down to the name of the Lord Jesus, the name that's written above every name. If you fight against him, you are reprobate. You fight against Jesus Christ, you only consent with your masters to cast him down from his excellency it is written how you gonna fight against the word of your our salvation the scriptures you are reprobate concerning the faith they profess look that they know God but in works they deny him because Jesus said your works are evil John 7 7 let's get that we might return to Titus we might return to Titus, but let's go to um, John 7, 7 real quick. 
John 7, 7 says, the world cannot hate you. But me, he, it hated because Jesus is revolutionary. If they loving you, something wrong with that. These heathens all around you. Well, what fellowship had light with darkness? What communion had Christ with, with Baal? Uh, what fellowship had the temple of God with idols? Come out from among them, be ye separate. The world cannot hate you, but me it hates. It hates your king. It hates your God. It hates your Lord and Savior. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Do you? Do you have the same mindset as your Lord and Savior? If you do, then you are revolutionary. Where are your videos? Where is your voice? You got to stand up. You got to stick out. You got to be heard. You got to be seen. Your Lord was. Your King was. Your Savior was. The Bible said, as he is, so are we in this world. Why is your proof? Paul said, show me your faith without works. I'll show you my faith by my works. Jesus testified the works thereof are evil. What do you testify? Huh? Not in your seclusion. You got to become a martyr. You got to become a revolutionary. If Martin Luther King and Malcolm X did this, stuck out and they wasn't full of no, they were not full of the Holy Ghost. But do you claim to have the Holy Ghost? Well, then you should stick out and be heard louder than Dr. Martin Luther King, louder than Malcolm X. That's how I see that. That's how I see that. They might not have us on that television because they don't want this to be seen. They don't want this to be heard. But you got you can do what you do with the little Facebook, little YouTube, with little channels that, that are open to you. Huh? Uh, show me your video. Show the mighty great line. We, we, we want to hear it. We want to hear it from you. My brother, my sister, are you revolutionary or are you reprobate? Fighting against your own salvation. Not exalting the name Jesus. I see a lot of people, even, even uh, if you read some of the uh, comments on these Hebrew Israelites, channels they not even on one accord they not even on one accord these uh speakers y'all like if y'all look at the comments they saying all kind of names some of them saying y'all some of them saying yahoo some of them saying yashua some of them saying ahaya you get this some of them saying yahweh these camps and people are all over the place with all these different names. Some of them saying Jehovah. Them. Some of them saying Allah. Come on, man. Come on. This King James 66 book, there's none like it. You understand? That's why they make all these replicas, these duplicates, these counterfeits. And they, they can't they can't stand against the King James. That ancient those ancient languages, that ancient word. That ancient word, that's how you know it's it was here first. The word is ancient. If they trying to modify it, modernize it, that show you that the King James 66 red letter is supreme. It's superior. You can't be ancient, classic. Huh? The Alpha, the Omega of the Word? You can't beat that. So they made counterfeits. Huh? They trying to go around the Lord. They trying to go around Him. You can't go above Him. You can't go around Him. You can't go under Him. You can't go through Him. You got to bow down to Him. You got to become revolutionary and crowned with his anointing. 
Matthew 11, verse 28, come unto me, Jesus says, words in red, all that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn of me. I am meek and lowly in heart. You shall find rest unto your soul. You ain't going to get that spirit of revolutionary, of, of being a martyr, of being a king, of being a god, of being free from your sins. The spirit that you can be bold and approach the Father in spirit and in truth. Except you come to Jesus Christ as it is written. And take the Holy Spirit, his yoke upon you and learn of him as he said, as he has spoken, he will make it good. Everything else, the people believe. They believe that they are Judah. They believe they came here by a slave ship. They believe Jesus Christ is a black man. They believe they the chosen people. Why don't you believe the name? It's all in that book. You believe everything else? Because you're being duped. You're reprobate. Reprobate. And you ain't going to get to... Um, this whole world... Let me show you something. This whole world is a counterfeit. This whole world is copying the Bible. They just cloak it and call it by different names. The things that they do for... for uh, let me give you some kind of example. They all want higher consciousness, right? All these uh, religious groups, they seek higher consciousness, right? And they got different names. They call it the Kudalini. Have y'all heard of that? Kudalini, chakras, right? So you got Hindu, Hinduism, you got Buddhism, you got people using uh, Tetra cards, Tyrock cards, or whatever you, uh, astrologers. You even got the Africans, the heathens, they doing voodoo, voodoo dances. And uh, yoga, yoga, they do breathing exercises. Uh, the higher, the, 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 the groups call themselves consciousness group. They talk about the third eye being open, right? The mind's eye, the inner eye. Uh, to be enlightened, right? Through meditation, that's yoga. Through meditation. Oh, this is scriptures. All that is scriptures. You know, the, the bow down and, and the praying, the praying uh, without seas. The Muslims try that. What they pray like three times a day or something like that. The Bible tells us to pray without seas. That comes from uh, the scriptures. You know, they talk about the ancestral spirits, your ancestry spirit. But we had one spirit. That's scripture. That scripture, that's 1 Corinthians, thir uh, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13. Because we one body in Christ, one spirit. So the Holy Ghost is your ancestry spirit. Yeah. Uh, so they copying. They call it different names, these heathens. But they get it from the scriptures. The third eye, remember Jesus said, if your eye be single. That's in Matthew 6, like verse 19 on down. If your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. So that's where they get the third eye. They talk about the third eye. Uh, Egyptology. You know. So these higher consciousness groups are nothing but copycats of Jesus Christ. All these religious groups. Copycat. What do it say? Nation of Islam. But it's supposed to be the nation of Israel. See? Copycats copycats but they ever learn and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth they're as jannies and jambres reprobate concerning the faith fighting against their own salvation all you hebrew israelite camps likewise never able to come into the knowledge of the truth because the truth is in jesus ephesians 4 21 and you're fighting against the scriptures the simplicity of God is he laid this table out before us. Not He told us don't add nor take away. Revelations 22, verse 18, 19. Huh? Yeah. Never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Let's get back over there to the, 
Second Timothy three. Let's get back. Let's get back over there. Let's get back to that meat. Let's get back over there. That meat. Uh, ever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jannies and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Do you do that? Are you resisting what's written? Then you a reprobate. Then you're not a revolutionary. Right? Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. And the works come with the faith. It's a spirit. It's called the Holy Ghost. It's all one and, 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 and we are complete in Christ. Tell us in Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10. We're complete in Christ. But they shall proceed no further. Y'all ain't going nowhere. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men. Hold on a second. Uh, as theirs was. Your folly going to be made manifest. You're going to have egg on your face. As uh, soon as the Lord move his hand. And everybody going to see your nakedness. Yeah. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, through the Holy Ghost, persecution, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, and Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. He delivered us from our persecutions, from our enemies, from the lion's mouth. From, from the pit, from hell, from the grave, from the water floods. He delivers us from it all, man. No weapon formed against us shall prosper in Christ Jesus. If y'all would stop fearing the cross, stop fearing the persecution, stop fearing the long suffering, you will understand the almightiness of God. You will understand that Jesus is God through a personal relationship with him as you exalt his name and fall in love with him. You'll fall in love with him through these experiences. As you see that he delivers you, he's your Lord and Savior. And he is a God that cannot lie. Yea, and all that will live godly. Look, in Christ Jesus, that's, that's all it is. Live godly through the Holy Ghost. In Christ Jesus, if you would je see, that's what they rejected. So if you ain't living godly, what's the opposite of that? <laughs> you been you you sneaking and creeping. You unclean. I already told you we was unclean, wicked, defiled, unbelieving. Right? Our conscience is defiled, unbelieving. Yeah, and all that will live godly. This is the opposite. In Christ Jesus, with a clean, pure conscience. Right, and you got to be baptized in His name. Uh, Great Mike Lion just did a video on that this morning. Shout out again, Great Mike Lion, beautiful video, brother. Uh, Jesus shall suffer persecution. If you live godly, you will suffer persecution. But this is your deliverance. This is to your perfection, not so you can fear and go run and hide in a underground or in a corner, so you can shine and be bold and come forth. And declare up on the mountain. Tell it up on the hill and in all the high places that Jesus Christ is Lord. Right? But you running and doing the opposite because that's what come with y'all doctrine. What come with y'all doctrine? Y'all not bold. Y'all not y'all not shining in the beauty of holiness. Y'all in the dark, man, hiding. Y'all really afraid. Fear if y'all don't fool me. Because the book exposes you. The book tells you what you are. You evil and you hate the light. Remember, you only cast him down from his excellency. He's the one that the lifter of your head. He's the one that cleans the mess off of you. And washes you. And, and makes you appear and makes you smell good. Is Jesus. The Christ. But evil men and seducers. Look. She'll wax worse. And worse, deceiving and being deceived. That's where y'all at right there. That's where you reprobates is right there. Evil men and seducers. Wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceiving. Y'all women are whores. You women, they y'all women are whores. Hey, the Bible said it. I'm just going back what the scriptures say. 
your wives are harlots, man. The Lord turned the women over to be in harlots. Brothers, you just the last to know. They ain't going to let you know. They doing it behind your back. They sneaking and creeping. Ain't that what snakes do? They sneaking in and just like you fellas. Y'all doing the same. Y'all cheating on them women. That's what come with the package. That's what come with it. That's what come with it. Y'all still sinners. That y'all are still sinners. Y'all forever. Y'all y'all can't get free without Jesus. Without exalting the the Holy One, the one that died for your sins, the one you rejecting. Just because you get married, don't stop you from being no whore. That just make you an adulteress, an adulterer. That's what you two have become. She getting hers and you getting yours. And and when it's all said and done, all of y'all going to the lake of fire. All y'all going to the pit. All y'all going to be burned. You living like trash, you're going to burn like trash. Let's finish this out. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them from the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able... Look, the Holy Scriptures. Well, you can't change it. You can't fight against the Holy Scriptures. If it says Jesus, then it means Jesus. Hey, you can't fight against that. If you do, you rep. That's a dog chasing his own tail. That's retardation. Huh? That's folly. You fighting against what's written? <sighs> Ever learning, able, able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And, and, and concerning his works, you are reprobate. Reprobate. Uh, you're not revolutionary. Uh, revolutionaries are die for the name Jesus Christ. We lay down our life for Jesus Christ. For Jesus we live, for Jesus we die. Right? And known the Holy Scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, look, which is in Christ Jesus. Ain't that what I just said? That's what makes you bold as a lion. Right there. This lamb becomes a lion. Yeah, we a lamb, but we also a lion. Don't get it twisted. We a lamb, but we also the lion. Huh? The father is also the son. The son is also the father. Don't get it twisted. But you can only get this truth by following faithfully. Following faithfully. This is what it said. Verse 16, look. All scripture. Is given by inspiration of God. And come on now. So that means you fighting against God. When you say Jesus is not Lord. You're fighting against God. When you say Jesus is not his name. You are fighting against God. When you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You're fighting against your own salvation. All scripture is given by inspiration. All scripture. Look. Is given by inspiration of God and is proper for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be looked perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Look, but y'all deny Jesus, y'all deny him, y'all say he's not pure. Y'all say he's not king, y'all say he's not holy, y'all say he's not exalted. Y'all say he, hey, y'all say he's not a man. God is not a man. God is not a man that he should lie. He became a man for our sake. He that was rich became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich. In verse 15, just read, let's read verse 15 again. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, and that's the whole Bible, don't be, don't be trying to be tricky, a snake. Well, some of it's the scriptures, some of it's not the scriptures. It's the whole Bible's the scriptures. The Holy Scriptures, the whole Bible. The volume of the book. The volume of the book. Let me say it one more time. The volume of the book is the scriptures. 
It ain't no part of it's holy, and part of it ain't holy. It, no, all of it. You got to eat the whole row. Didn't he tell Ezekiel that? Eat the whole row. And that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. But you're fighting against it. Through faith, look, which is in Christ. You can't beat that. Can't go around that. Faith is in Christ Jesus. Huh? And he nailed all the, all the okie doke that was against us. Let's say you called me a, 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 a murderer. I was a murderer. He nailed it to his crow. Say you called me a shoplifter. Nailed to his crow. Called me a whole monger. Nailed to his crow. Called me a lawbreaker. Nailed to his crow. Whatever you can accuse me of, I point to the cross. Nailed to his cross. I'm resurrected in Christ. New creation. 2 Corinthians 5.17. Come on now. You got to eat the whole roll. I ain't got to say the chakra stuff. I ain't got to say the kudalini stuff. I ain't got to do the yoga stuff. I ain't got to do the Buddha, Buddhism stuff. I ain't got to do no voodoo. I ain't got to do no breathing exercises. I ain't got to uh, get into Egyptology and learn about the third eye. You understand? Higher consciousness is Christ Jesus being my head. 1 Corinthians 11.3 See, we ain't got to fall for the okie doke, y'all. We ain't got to do animal sacrifices. I ain't got to wear no fringes. Romans 13, 14 tells me to put on Christ Jesus. Make no provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Romans chapter 6 tells me I'm dead to sin and alive under God through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I ain't got to fall for the okie doke. We ain't got to fall for the okie doke. Come on now. Ah, uh, the wicked is a python. Let me say it again. The wicked is a python. Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And they cover the faces of the judges there is. You know, they crafty counsel. They done uh, unleashed the python. Because we are prisoners of war. And what it is, when you become patriotic to this world, that's a python wrapping itself around you. And what do a python do? He squeeze, 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 squeeze all the life out of you. They done squeeze all the Jesus Christ out of you. Casting them down from his own excellency. And you done, you done drank the polluted water of Babylon. And you so patriotic with your Stockholm Syndrome. That's the python around you. The python make you forget your heritage. Uh, the python make you not care about your people, your ancestry, your birthright. And the Lord took care of everything for us. We are inheritors. You inherited this. You inherited. You the only people on the planet that got a legal document called the Emancipation Proclamation. Only people on the planet that inherited uh, uh, deliverance from, from slavery, which is legal on paper, 13th Amendment. Inherited citizenship, 14th Amendment. Inherited the right to vote, 15th Amendment. Don't you know what that means? That you are God's elect. That means God in choosing our inheritance, Psalms 47, 4, that means you are God's elect. The 15th Amendment shows that we are elected. Don't that tell you that God kept his word? Isaiah 45, 4. That's good. God's a God that can't lie. Outsmarted all his enemies. Can't beat that. Outsmarted all his enemies. And if you deny the Constitution, you done, you done denied the whole Bible. You done denied your birthright. Look at that. Isaiah 45, 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect. That's the 15th Amendment. Huh? The non-consenters. We are the non-consent. We didn't consent. We inherited. To be the elect, that's an inheritance. To be chosen of God is an inheritance. 
That's through your faith and obedience. I have even called thee by thy name. I had look, surname thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That had to be Jesus talking, right? Because when we go to the New Testament, John 3, 13, that had to be Jesus. And John 3, 13, and no man had ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. See that? Let's read that again. And no man has sent it up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven. And we just read, there's none beside me. Even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Didn't it say the faith is in Jesus? Second Timothy 3, 15, that faith that is in Christ Jesus. Huh? Verse 14. And as Moses had lifted up the serpent, in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Let's deal with that. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Jesus Christ is the Son of Man got to be exalted. That's being exalted. That's being exalted. Let's go on and get that. And uh, let's show you that this word swallows up all other evils it swallows up all even all other counterfeits uh, it swallows up all liars exodus 7 verse 11 let's get it exodus 7 verse 11 we're gonna have a little fun today then pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers now the magicians of Egypt. That's all they are. All these counterfeit Bibles and stuff. All these religions, organized religions and doctrines. That's all in here, y'all. Look. And faithful called the wise men. They wrote the Apocrypha, all that stuff. Egyptian Book of the Dead. Come up with this uh, Nation of Islam stuff. That's they wise men. Right? Christianity. Roman Catholic Church. All that's in here. That wise men, they're sorcerers, that's all that's it. That stuff is sorcerers, they witches, familiar spirits, right? Sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, and they also did in like manner with their enchantments. Uh, they were copying whatever uh, miracles and stuff Moses was doing. They was able to do it. They was able to counterfeit it, duplicate it. God wrote a Bible, they wrote Bibles. Let's finish it. For they cast down every man his rod, right? And they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. See, uh, they can lay down their rods like the Lord told Moses he'd be able to lay down his rod and his rod become a serpent. They were able to do the same thing. Lay down their rods and became a serpent. But it says Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Uh, our rods will swallow up the heathen's rod. Our truth will swallow up the truth of the devil, the counterfeit truth. The great Maya Lion is a proof to that. He swallows man. His videos are swallowing them, them up. Totally. He's eating them up whole. Eating them alive. Great Maya Lion, shout out. Your rod has swallowed up they rods, man. And I'm talking about your truth. Your rod of truth. Your rod of righteousness. Your rod of understanding. Right? Your rod of Christ Jesus. Right? Which shows you are the true inheritor, man. You are the true inheritor. And, and, and let's get that where that's prophesied of us. We can go to Jeremiah 10, 16. Let's get that one. Jeremiah 10, 16. And it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, right? For he is the former of all things. And Israel 
is the rod. That's what the great mighty lion is. The rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. You are the Lord's rod, man. Rod of iron. The rod of his inheritance. That same rod, the Lord said, we will be to take down the nations. Let's get that. Revelations 2, 24. But I say unto you, unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. That which we got, he said, hold it till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, look at this. That's through the Holy Ghost. That's what's written. The works are, that are written, just like he nailed everything to his cross. That's his work. We can't, no man can duplicate that. Huh? No man can die for our sins. This had to be a God thing. Unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them. Here it is. Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a drum roll? And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. Look. As the vessels of the potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. Oh, yeah. We going, ooh. If, you, if they think they ain't getting their ass kicked now, uh, in a minute, they going to be broken to shivers. We already breaking their doctrine. Great My Lines videos is the proof to that. But this going to be on their persons. They person's going to be broken to shivers. Huh? Soon as the Lord is ready, man. Certain things got to take place for first. Because that, that mark of the beast got to come. Because they're going to see. They're going to see that they trapped. You know, like the children of Israel was between the red. The, they had the Red Sea in front of them. And Pharaoh's army coming right behind them. And so they're going to have to call on their gods. And when their gods don't answer, same as Elijah took on the prophets of Baal, and they had to call on their gods, and their gods did not answer, because their gods are make-believe, their gods are imaginary. Huh? They was calling on gods from the blindness of their heart, from the imagination of their own evil heart. They made up gods. They guys never responded. Huh? But Elijah's God responded with fire. Elijah's God, which is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Huh? Elijah had the God of Israel. They had uh, made up imaginary gods. Okay? And so they were just stuck. And so that's what's going to happen in this day. In this modern day. But right? When the, when the enemy comes in like a flood, they're going to be calling on them gods. And them gods are not going to help them. Them gods are not going to save them. And at the last minute, they're going to be forced to even call on the name Jesus Christ. But according to Scripture... Because of what that, that bed they made, that penalty is death. To call on it, to, to, to y'all didn't confess Jesus before man. He said, I'm not going to confess you before my father. Huh? Y'all, baby, you hearing this message, and you've been calling on them foreign gods, them strange gods, you better repent right now today. You calling on all these even the name Jehovah and Yah and Elohim and you calling on names that are written in the Bible but not given for your salvation. Like Acts 4.12. Acts 
Acts 4, verse 10 through 12, says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You don't call on the name that's written above every name, Jesus Christ, J-E-S-U-S. Jesus said, Believe on me as the scripture has said, John 7, 38 and 39. The scriptures say Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, is exalted above every name in heaven and earth and under the earth. The Bible says there's no other name given whereby we must be saved. And if you don't do this, right, before that door closed, the gods that you're calling on now got to be the one to save you. Because the enemy going to come in like a flood, just like they did in the book of Esther. They're going to pick an appointed day to purge. They're going to pick an appointed day and a time to call a purge. The book of Esther tell you that. Huh? But only the, the Jews. The Jews are those that take the cross. The Jews are they that take up the cross. With Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why they wrote it on Jesus' cross. Matthew 27, 37. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Only the Jews know the way of the cross. That's the pathway of salvation. The way of the cross. Suffering for his name's sake. Becoming a martyr for his name's sake. Loving his name unto the end. Let me give you a scripture on that. Let me give you that's many. But I'll give you one big one. One big one. For we call it a night. You know. Uh, let's get to one. Psalms 69 35. It says, For God will save Zion. That's who we are. In the city of the Lord. Right? And we'll build the cities of Judah. Look at that. Jesus come out of Judah. Uh, Hebrews 7, 14. Right? That they may dwell there and have it in possession. You got to possess that in your, in your heart. The kingdom of God is in you. Luke 17, 21. The seed also of his servants. That's the children of Israel. Right? That's a, the elect. This is the elect of his servants. Shall inherit it. Look at it. Inherited me. Right? And that's the Constitution. That's knowing your position in the Constitution. You've been exalted above all other nations in the Constitution. Three fifth persons, Article 1, Section 2. Right? You are a non consenter. No other people on the planet can say that you were brought here by force against your, your consent. You didn't consent to. Be a citizen, you inherited citizenships in the United States Constitution. Article 1, Section 2, three-fifth persons. That 1 through 15th is the wall. That 15th is the Jerusalem wall, the city of Zion. Only the elect will rise to the call and become chosen, right? As they grab hold of Jesus Christ's name. We inherit it. Look. And they that love, look, his name right there. You got to love the name of Jesus, the name that died for you. Right? The name that was a sacrifice for you. The name that's coming back for you. Who, who, who coming back for you? Jesus Christ. Then he said, I go prepare a place for you. And I will come again to receive you unto myself. Didn't he say that, John 14? Right? And they that love his name shall dwell therein. In Christ. Right? In Zion. In Christ. In Zion. Right? We the constitutional people. The earth is that's your inheritance. The meek shall inherit the earth. Didn't he say the meek or those that come take their yoke upon him and learn of him? Because he said, I am meek and lowly in heart. You possess the life and nature of your God, the DNA of your God, your heavenly father. As he is, so are we in this world. Huh? That's an inheritance. Psalm 47.4. And Jesus Christ says he's that inheritance 
Let's get that in Acts. Acts 26, 18. Let's get it. Acts 26, 18. You just got to rise and build. The words ain't read. To open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan. Right? That's Elijah versus the prophets of Baal. Right? Turn them from them strange names. Right? To the name Jesus Christ. These words are in red. Unto God, because Jesus Christ is God, in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16 tells us that. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. That they may receive, look, forgiveness of sins. If you ain't getting, if you're not free from sin through Jesus Christ, you forever learning, never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. You are reprobate in this faith. You just going around in circles, chasing your tail because you are fighting against the scriptures. You are fighting against Jesus Christ. You're fighting against God's truth. His salvation. There's no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 10, verse, excuse me, Acts chapter 4, verse 10 through 12. Jesus Christ is the only name of your inheritance. We're reading it right now. Forgiveness is in an inheritance, inheritance, inheritance among them which are sanctified 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 by faith that is in me and that's revelations 14 12 the faith is in jesus the faith of jesus christ the faith of jesus christ this is the gift of god romans 6 23 the faith of jesus is the gift of god ephesians 2 8 right Ephesians 2 8 and uh did I say that right well now I gotta go get it I'm gonna make sure I got it right Ephesians 2 8 yeah that's it for by grace are ye saved 